Hey, it's Christian Hermita here for Hermita Tech, and today I want to show you how you can jailbreak your iOS 5, iPad 2, and iPhone 4S. Now, it just came out today on the 20th um, of January, and I don't know why it has the wrong date here, but we can go ahead and navigate to this website on greenpoison.us, and I'll have the link down there below and also I'll have it in the description box. So anyways, you open up that link here to the website and you press download. Now, make note that it is only available for Mac users at the time, um, at this time, but it will become available for Windows and Linux very soon. So by the time you watch this video, you may already have it available for Windows or Linux, but at this time there's Mac only. So we'll go ahead and download it. And I've already downloaded it, so I won't click download. And if I'm on Mac, It'll be my download folder and it's uh, right here, this thing. Double click on it to open it. And there you see a one click jailbreak. Pretty simple. Um, it just tells you here to make sure that you have backed up your device. Remember you can back up your device on iCloud or you can also back it up on your computer, whichever you prefer. I personally use iCloud. And all I have to do is have my iPad connected and you can see that it is connected and it tells me that um, I have the right version and everything, so I'm ready to go. Press jailbreak. And it'll take some time depending on your computer, depending on you know your connection, all sorts of stuff. So we'll see you in the next clip when I should be done with the jailbreak and we'll take a look at what you can do with the iOS 5 jailbreak on the iPad 2 and also on the iPhone 4S. So you'll see in the iPad there it'll say restore in progress. And once it's done restoring, so to speak, you're going to have to go into the iPad and unlock it if it's on the lock screen and move it around. Um, it may restart like this and show the Apple logo. It may not. It really depends. So go ahead and unlock it and we'll have to look for the Green Poison app. Now it may be on your home screen. It may not be on mine. It happens to be on my second screen there. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on it to open it. There's a close up of the app there. And so I open it and I get this white screen. Do not be shocked people, this is normal. It will take a while for it to update and it may even give you a message like this that says cannot open on the application because of the server but have no fear. You can easily fix that by going in to make sure that you don't have a passcode on and that you don't have restrictions on as well. Then make sure you go up to where it says VPN and go ahead and slide it to turn it on. Once you have it on, it may or may not say that it has worked, um, depending again on your device, but it should take a while to load up. It might say an error has occurred. I pressed OK, then I thought maybe it's my Wi-Fi. So I went to the Wi-Fi, I just refreshed it to my other network that I have, and what do you know, it is ready to go and load up. So now that my iPad is back from that, it should take about um, two or three minutes. I opened up Cydia, it says preparing file system. This may take a while, so do not be alarmed. Once it is, you'll be able to open up Cydia like so, and then you can go ahead and play around and browse all the cool new jailbreak stuff that you can do with your iPad or your iPhone 4S. Now, this process is exactly the same on the iPhone 4S. Same thing with the VPN and all that. It just might be in a little bit um, different places and the preferences, but you should be good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube to Hermita Tech, and I'll see you in the next video.